to boxing and 31 hours to go and counting to the biggest fight of Clinton Woods' career. Sheffield's IBF light heavyweight champion is putting his title on the line against Antonio Tarver in Tarver's hometown of Tampa, Florida. Now Tarver, remember, starred opposite Sylvester Stallone in the last Rocky film. And in real life, he's still the showman, once again trying to intimidate Woods when they came face to face today. Our sports correspondent, Paul Burland, is in the States. Well, this is where it all takes place tomorrow night. Two World Light Heavyweight title fights. The first between young Chad Dawson and one of Clinton Woods' old foes, Glenn Coffey Johnson, but very much top of the bill, Antonio Tarver versus Sheffield's own Clinton Woods. The two came together trading verbal blows at the official press conference, and Antonio Tarver has lost none of his charm. Another opportunity for Antonio Tarver to attempt to rattle Clinton Woods. Tarver is keen to show he's in great shape and win the psychological war long before the first bell rings. If you think I've come this far to let Clinton Woods get anything on Saturday, you got to be kidding. You understand me? It's going to take everything you got to take victory away from me. So don't miss it. If you ain't there, you're nowhere, baby, because I want everybody to witness what I'm going to do to Clinton Woods. Is anything he said to you in these press conferences, in these flashpoints, you know, going to change the way you're approaching the fight? Have you got a game plan? Are you going to stick to it? No, I've got a game plan. I think he knows the way I'm going to fight him. He knows I, I'm not going to stand off him. If I stand off him, I get beat. It's simple as that. But I think today when he, when he took his top off and stood in front of me, so I took my top off and I'll probably, I'll probably be bigger than him, actually. So he tried to intimidate me that way, look into my eyes, he was saying these silly things. I just looked back and I just said to him, I said, Tarver, I go, you just don't scare me. And he, he actually laughed. It was funny because he actually laughed at me. Uh, like a little snigger, like, I'm not scared, you're not intimidating me. Well, for my money, Antonio Tarver is trying exceptionally hard to look very confident. His words are full of confidence, but they have changed a little bit over the last few weeks and months. He called Clinton Woods a no-hoper. Yesterday he said he was going into the fight as favourite. The truth will be told on Saturday. I think he knows him for an odd fight, you know. Apparently his, his sparring partner, with Gonzalez, who I fought twice, apparently Gonzalez has uh, actually told him, don't underest underestimate this guy because he's a tough guy. Uh, I think he's like starting to think maybe it's not a four-round fight. He thinks it was a four-round fight. Maybe he's starting to think what happens when it starts getting into eights and nine and ten rounds. That's the, the thing with this fight. Get past four, four rounds, four or five rounds, and then start turning it on. Clinton's also turning on the charm for the American media. His relaxed demeanor is a stark and welcome contrast to that of his opponent. Very intense guy. He's definitely involved. He wants to fight. He's not about the showmanship. He's a very humble young man. You know, Tarver's the bad guy. I think he probably likes being that to a certain extent. Um, but, you know, he's, uh, he makes a lot of outlandish claims. Some people think he's a little delusional. Perhaps best place to give a verdict is Glenn Johnson, who also fights tomorrow. He's faced Woods three times and Tarver twice. How do you call the fight between Tarver and Woods? You know them both very well. Based on what I've seen lately, I would have to say Clinton get an edge. Um, if Tarver prepare himself, really like like he claimed that he, he he's prepared and for be the tarver that i fought then tarver will win but ibo champ tarver hasn't been the same fighter since his hollywood outing in rocky balboa and ibf champion woods has never wanted a victory so bad team woods has made tampa into a suburb of sheffield for the week and they're here for a smash and grab raid to rob tarver of his world title it's going to be some fight, isn't it? Certainly is. If there was a competition for fighting talk, Tarver yeah. would win, wouldn't he? Yes. I, I can pause like that, too. Yeah? Mean guy? Not very okay. well, but I can. Well, <clears throat> certainly. But would you put your shirt on Clinton Woods for the world title? We've got the big fight build-up from Florida. Um, Let us move on to sport now. We're all talking the boy about, of course, the boy Clinton Woods. Can he do it? I think he can. I think, I think he should as well. Um, I, think, I think Antonio Tarver talks a lot. A lot and a lot Pretty and a lot, much. quite he frankly. He's taking his clothes off, Tanya. Well, just, just don't, don't knock, knock it, love, don't knock it. <laughs> <laughs> this is toughest fight and his biggest fight, Clinton Woods' assessment of his matchup against American Antonio Tarver. He is, of course, in Tarver's backyard, Tampa, in Florida, and Radio Sheffield's Paul Walker and Seth Bennett are there for all the action. Here's their take on what's ahead for Clinton. Clinton. 
So this is it. We followed Sheffield's Clinton Woods 3,500 miles across the Atlantic as he makes the latest defence of his IBF light heavyweight crown. The man wanting to steal it from him is the magic man, Antonio Tava. And if the pre-fight press conference is anything to go by, it will be a cracker. If you think I've come this far to let Clinton Woods get anything on Saturday, you got to be kidding. You understand me? It's going to take everything you got to... to it's going to take everything you got to take victory away from me. I'm strong as ever. I'm 175 pounds and a half. Haven't missed a meal. We train our ass off, and I'm here to set Tampa on fire Saturday night. So don't miss it. If you ain't there, you're nowhere, baby, because I want everybody to witness what I'm going to do to Clinton Woods. Everybody. I know what I'm in for. Uh, I've trained for a war. And I do believe it's going to be turned into a war. An historical night and two, two fantastic uh, world title fights. And I'll be leaving with the belt, but from a Sheffield band over there. OK, thank you. The travelling fans who are here to support Clinton clearly got to Tava, who seemed agitated and upset. But he's determined to prove that come Saturday night, he'll be crowned as the best light heavyweight in the world. My goal for 08 is to get all those belts, to become undisputed champion once again. I'm going to beat him bad, I'm going to bust him up, I'm going to turn him to a war and uh, send him back, back back here. Joining me now is Radio Sheffield's Seth Bennett, who will be alongside me for live commentary on BBC Radio Sheffield. Seth, what are the odds on this one? Well, interestingly, over the last couple of weeks, Clinton has gone from being really second best. Now he's very much over here, the favourite, which is a big surprise, really, because Clinton isn't a known name in North America, but the bookies over here reckon that he's going to be the man that will win. And he feels in good shape. Yeah, speaking to him yesterday, he seems awfully relaxed. He seems very, very confident, very, very calm. And as much as Antonio Tarver has tried to get at him and tried to bully him, Clinton's stuck that to one side and he says, look, training's gone ever so well. He says, in the gym, he's faster, he's stronger, and he's feeling ever so good. Is this the career-defining fight for him? Without doubt. He wins this one. He is big time within the light heavyweight division. He will be regarded not just in England, but across the whole of North America as well. That's where the money is. He'll be regarded as the number one, and then everybody looks ahead to the the possibility of a Joe Cal Zaggy fight if he can beat Bernard Hopkins next week. Fingers crossed he can do it. Remember, if you can't catch it anywhere, you can, of course, listen to it live on BBC Radio Sheffield from around about 3 o'clock in the morning, UK time. Doesn't the weather look dreadful in Florida? Now the deadline.